Hey guys, my name is Katira with De-Stress Life. Let's get moving here. Ready to jump right into this full body workout with you today. Thank you so much for being here and taking time out of your day for you. That's so important. So I like to start every workout with a positive quote or intention just to really set my mind up for success, right? Like as I'm getting my blood flowing, yes, I want to feel good, but I also want to be thinking about what can I be improving in my life? How can I be better to myself and those around me? So for today, this is going to be a little bit of a tougher workout in some spots. Today our quote is, allow yourself to be a beginner. Nobody starts out being excellent, okay? There's always going to be modifications and workouts. Don't be hard on yourself. Some skills are going to feel more difficult than others, especially as we get into more and more sets, right? That's where really the benefits of exercise come in. So we're going to push together. All right, let's get into it here. Running in place. That's it. Knees are up slightly. They don't have to be up too high. And let's go into fast feet here. We're going to go right into getting that heart rate up. That's it. Good. Take it back to the run. Whew. Now you can always take this forwards and backwards too. I'm staying in place today. Focusing on engaging my abs as I pull those knees up slightly and back to your fast feet. Core is engaged here too. That's it. Nice and light on those feet. Good, strong. We are feeling strong today. Good, take it back to your run. Just get them warmed up together. And take it to your fast feet one more time. Good, taking it to butt kickers, okay? Hands behind you if you want to help you feel that your heels are getting all the way up to your booty. Engaging those hamstrings now. That's it. And take it back to those fast feet. Good, there's football on today. Feeling like a football player right now. That's it, have fun with it. Back to your butt kickers. Good, really pull that heel up. Engage the hamstrings, that huge muscle in the back of your legs. And take it to your chest feet. We've got that round one more time. You've got this. We don't mess around. We get right into getting that heart rate up. And butt kickers. You got this. There you go. It's a beautiful autumn day here. I hope it's nice where you are too. Just thankful to be breathing, thankful to be alive. And fast feet. That's it. Make sure you've got some water nearby. Good, so let's slow it down for a second. Side stepping here. Okay, so we're gonna start this one slow. All right, one leg in front, other legs behind you, arms are up high. I'm gonna pull in, knee comes up, so there's some balance going on here. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna twist to the side, so I get a nice oblique contraction. So it's here, twist, here, twist, here. Now you can stay here, or if you wanna come with me, we're gonna pop this for 10, ready? And pop. Twist. Good. You can always stay with the other version. Engaging those abs here. And you stay in the same place as you hop. Good. Last one here. Relax. Take it side to side again. You're doing great. All right. Let's get into the other side. <clears throat> Bring the other leg forward. Arms are up tall, starting slow, and twist. You can speed this up. If you don't want to do the pop, you can go nice and quick here. You're still gonna get a really nice burn. Those of you that want to come with me, 10 popping, let's go. Here and here. Up. And crunch. Crunch. That's it. Beautiful. You've got three. 
two, and one. That's it, all right. Dive side to side one more time. Gonna do a little stretch here, dynamic stretching at the beginning of the workout. All right, so watch me first. Twisting, arms and leg go opposite direction. Join me when you can. Yep, we've got a little balance going on in the beginning of this workout. It's always good to incorporate some balance training into your workouts. That's it, and rotation. Oh my gosh, how good does rotation feel? Good, let's take it to the other side. Especially for your job, if you're sitting a lot or standing a lot, really whatever you're doing, opening up that rib cage, those trapezius muscles, your huge shoulder muscles back here, just taps into everything. Good. Take it back to a shuffle here. All right, we're gonna get going here with the bulk of our workout. So grab a sip of water if you need it, and then join me back here. Remember, you can always press pause if you need to. Just make sure you come back to finish the workout. All right, for this next one, we're sticking with our side to side motion, okay, our lateral motion. We're gonna add some jumping to this. All right, I'll show you in steps. So what we're gonna do is go one, two, on the third one, I'm dropping down to a squat position and popping up. Notice in the squat, I'm not going knees over the feet. I'm keeping my chest up the best that I possibly can and I'm sticking my booty way behind me there, okay? For those of you that don't wanna jump, just keep this a big side step. You can squat down as low as you can. Take it up to a calf raise. Ready? Let's get into it here. One, two, three, jump. Now, take your opposite arm, cross, cross, get those obliques down, up, cross, cross, down, up, good. As we get more used to the exercise, you're gonna notice me speed up a little bit. You stay where you feel comfortable. That's it. That's it, always wanna provide an additional challenge for the days you can do it, go for it. Good, breathing out, nice deep breaths. You got this, we're almost there. Last two, nice big jump. Last one, Woo. shuffle it out here, side to side. If you don't have a mat out yet, make sure you've got a mat out behind you. I apologize, I should have told you that at the beginning. We're also gonna be working with some 10 pound weights. I'll make sure I have that in the description below. All right, take it again. Your heart a second to come down, and we're gonna take it down to the floor to our backs. Okay, coming down nice and gentle. Sitting up tall. We're gonna slowly roll down vertebra by vertebra. Good, now. When we're doing our ab exercises, I don't want to see your legs so low that your back is popping up or arching, okay? Our low back should be pressed down to the floor firmly for all of these exercises. You can bring your hands behind your head if you want to, or right down by your side is perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna leg lift down. I'm not gonna lower too much because I don't want my low back to pop up. I'm gonna bend my knees in. Kick out, leg lift up, back down. Knees in, knees out, up, down. Knees in, knees out, up, down. Good, now you've got it. Now, as you're bringing your knees into your chest, try not to let your heels drop down like this. Keep them up like they're sliding along a table, okay? They're sliding along the surface of a table here. That's it. I love getting a shot of abs, focused abs into my routines. That's it. We'll have plenty of routines where we do standing abs as well. Good. Keep it going, you got this. I know you feel the burn, but I know you can do this. You've got two left here. That's it, knees in. Knees out, leg lift up, 
Woo. Get dramatic, relax for a second. You can even rock up if you want to. Do some twists. All right, we're not quite done with our abs yet. Lying back down on the floor, hands by the hind head, or down by your side. Legs out straight, crisscross. So one leg goes over, one leg goes under. Good, once you get comfortable with that, move your legs up, move your legs down. So we're leg lifting while we're crisscrossing. If that is too much for today, then just stay here. Just crisscross. You're still working your abs. That's it. Woo! That's it. One more time up and down. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pull those knees in. Wrap it back up. Grab some water if you need it. And then we're going to grab those weights that I was talking about. Nice and carefully. All right. I love this exercise. Anything with a sumo squat. So good for your legs and your booty for shaping and toning. All right, you grabbed your water, you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and keep our arms in a bicep curl position for the first part of this exercise. So just watch one first. Dropping down, two, three, rotate overhead press, okay? So one sumo squat down, but we're staying down for three pulses. Let's go for it. Two, three, overhead press. You are using the weights that work best for you, okay? I've got tens, that's what I'm working with today. You wanna to work with fives, you wanna work with twelves, fifteens, that's up to you. Good, down, two, three, up, you're halfway there. Good, go at your pace, get back to your arm position first, then drop down. Good, you don't have to rush through this. I like to think our workout routines are a little bit like yoga, in the sense that they always say this is your workout, you go at the pace that feels good to you. So I'm here to help motivate you, to help you get through the workout, but you go at the pace that works for you. And drop it down, relax here for a second, sidestepping. We're not quite done with those weights yet. Like I said, we're gonna push a little bit today. All right, sticking with our lateral theme here, because it's so good for you. What we're gonna do here is drop into three side to side squats. So I'm bringing my hands in between the legs, squat down, as I come up to stand, and pull my feet together, bicep curl. Out, bicep curl, I have one more. That's it. Now I'm going the opposite way. You ready to join in with me? Let's end you, modify, just don't take that squat quite as low. All right, arms between the legs as you step up bicep curl. Going side to side here. That's it. Woo! Those legs are gonna feel great after this workout. That's it. Got some fun music today. <laughs> gotta have fun with it. Gotta spice it up when you do group exercise. I was thinking about doing themes, so we'll see. Get a little further in to this filming of exercise and see if I can get that together for you. I also have a little girl who's about to turn one year old. Needless to say, you parents out there understand. She takes up a lot of my time too, which I love. That's it, rocking it out and relax here. All right, we are almost done with the legs and squats, with the legs and the weights, okay? We're gonna go into a narrow squat here. So I'm keeping my legs together. I'm still not letting the knees come over the, the toes there. I'm gonna drop down, keep the chest up, pull my elbows up behind me. Try not to lift up here, right? We tend to get very tense in our upper shoulder muscles throughout the day. So we're really trying to pull from back here, these larger middle fibers of your muscles. And of course, using your triceps too. All right, you've got this. Down, up. Good, notice I'm not pulling up here. Beautiful. 
Elbows go back behind you just slightly on a little bit of an angle. Good, squeeze those legs together. Nice narrow squat. I love it. Love how hard you're working today. You showed up ready to bring it. That's what it's all about. Good, you've got two left here. Whew. Got sweat in my eye, that's when you know you're working. Good, take a second. You can drop those weights for a minute. Grab a sip of water. Whew. All right, we're rewinding, or maybe fast forwarding is the better way to say it. We're gonna go right back to where we just left off, okay? I like to zigzag through these workouts, but make sure that you get your three sets in because that's gonna give you the max benefits for your body, and that's what I want for you. I want you to know that you showed up, you worked hard, and you did the best you absolutely could. So, when you're ready, grab those weights again. We're right back to it, narrow squat. Now we're gonna start flying through a little bit because you know what you're doing, okay? You stay at the pace that works for you. Weights on either side of you, stick in the booty behind you, and elbows up. That's it. Good, you can keep your knuckles facing out here. That'll be the most comfortable for you. Do the best you can. You need to make that squat a little bit lower. Not bring the weights up this high. Do what works for you. Good, four more. Three, two, abs tight. Good. Going right into our side to side squats here. So this is where the weights go in between the legs. As we step together, we're engaging the abs. We come up to a bicep curl, really to a hammer curl. Down and lift. Beautiful. Join in when you're ready. Not too wide of a stance in these squats. Hip distance apart is just fine. Good. Good. Pretend you're on a balance beam. So you're trying to stay on that same line the entire time you're doing this exercise. You are almost there. Last one down. Woo! Should feel those arms burning. Maybe the legs too. Good. Take a breather. We're going right back to those sumo squats. The nice thing is we're working a little bit of different muscles in different ways with, with each exercise. So hopefully it doesn't feel like too much of a burnout. All right, three, two, one. Arms are up in bicep curl position. Down three, two, one pulse. Up to your overhead press. That's it. This is the hardest it's gonna feel because we really did these exercises back to back, okay? You're climbing up the hill, you're almost there. We're almost over it. Halfway there. You need to drop and get lighter weights? Not a problem, just don't give up. That's it. Last two. Last one. Good, go ahead and drop those weights. Grab some water if you need it. And then we're heading back down to the floor. Our abs are waiting for us. All right, up tall first. Let's roll it down, vertebra by vertebra, reminding yourself how important it is for that low back to touch the floor. Then you know your low abs are really working and we always want those little abs working. All right, we're going right back to our crisscross, okay? So staying here, one leg over, one leg under. Get the feel of it, make sure the low back is flat to your floor. Good, and take it up and down if you can, if you're ready for it. If not, staying in place is perfectly fine. Good, take a second while we're doing this to reconnect with our intention at the beginning. Allow yourself to be a beginner. Truly, not in fitness necessarily, um, can be, 
can be in anything. There's something beautiful in having, having hobbies, not always needing to be the best at something. Good, last one. Good, and relax here, pull those knees in. All right, you know what we have. Hands behind the bed, legs are up straight. Keeping the belly button pressed down to the spine. Legs down, pull the knees in, knees out, legs up. So it's knees in, out, up, down. Good. This one you do not need to speed through, okay? We're going at this pace intentionally. I want you to feel it. More importantly, I want your abs really to be working. Good. As you get tired, if you need to have the legs not go down as low, that's perfectly fine. That's it, two more. Last one. Good, pull those knees in. Rock yourself up. And we're coming back up to a stand. Whew, boxer shuffle here. I'm getting sweaty, I hope you are too. And we're gonna take it back to our side to side. Remember those? So let's start with a side to side tap. We're going one, two, three, jump up. Here we go. One, two, three, jump up. Your modification, not going down as low, pop up to calf raise. When you can, start reaching across. Get those obliques in it. Good. Getting that cardio burn. I love this workout. Like I said, I only give you guys workouts that I would do. Anyways, <laughs> hitting all the key pieces. <laughs> That's it. Looking so good. Speeding it up a little bit here for these last few. Push yourself. Last two. Last one. Jump high. Woo! Step it out. Grab some water. I know I'm going to. Little sips of water. Step inside the side with me. Breathe it out. All right. One last set, quick set through all of these. I know you can do it, you've come this far with me. We're going right back to our side to sides here. Ready for it? And we're jumping, jumping. Good, our nice big side step. Keeping that chest up. Now this is our last quick set. Take it further, take it higher than you thought you could. Defy what you think is possible within a workout and then see how that seeps into your confidence in everyday life. We are almost there. We're down to our last three. This one is a killer. Last one. And how high can you jump? Woo! All right. We've got our abs one last time. Rocking down to the floor, carefully. Up tall on here. Slowly roll it down, vertebra by vertebra. Hands behind the head. Right into legs up. Leg lift down. Pull in. Kick out. And up, and we're off. Good. On that leg lift up, don't over pull your legs up, okay? I just want them at a nice 90 degree. So knees in, out, up, good. Sorry, I messed that one up a little bit, getting back into it. Sometimes these workouts mash up your brain a little bit, <laughs> make you tired. That's it. Beautiful. We're gonna push here, we've got five left. I know it hurts, but I know you can do it. Good, you've got three more here. I'm counting. 
two, one, woo, pull the knees in, good. After we get through these crisscrosses, I am gonna get, let you get a tiny stretch in, I promise. So hands behind the head, legs up, one leg over and under, up nice and high. When you can, start bringing it down a little bit, so you're really feeling the abs engaged, and let's bring it up and down in leg lifts, if that works for you. Getting some nice inner and outer thigh work here as you move. I'm all about trying to be as efficient as possible for you. You only have 20 or 30 minutes. Let's hit as many muscles as we can. That's it. Last one here. Woo! Last one, down and up. And relax, pull those knees in. All right, so let's take a quick second to breathe. Go ahead and bring your arms out to the side. Drop your knees to one side. And then go ahead and look at your opposite hand. Good, take some nice deep breaths. You deserve it, you're gonna work in. In through the nose, out through first slips. Good, go ahead and bring those knees up and over to the opposite side now. Looking across your body at your opposite hand. And let gravity just really do its work. Just let gravity pull your knees down. Give yourself a second to connect with your body. Good, bring the knees back up to center. And take a minute, just take one hand to your chest, one hand to your abdomen. And we're gonna take three nice breaths just with gratitude for our body, for being here right now together. Just give your body some appreciation and some love and take it in through the nose and melt your troubles away as you breathe out and breathe in, have gratitude for your body, breathe out, last one here, a nice deep thought for yourself of kindness, awesome, thank you for that guys, all right, let's take it up nice and slow, all right guys, grab some water if you need to, and let's pick up those weights for our last set with weights, Carefully come up. Your body might be a little bit tired now, so we want to be careful. And we're going into our deep sumo squat position. Arms are up in bicep curl. We're going to drop down one, two, three. Overhead press. Good. Abs are nice and engaged as you press overhead. Breathe out on the way up. You should really feel the core working here as we already did a lot of abs. Good, fun fact, the, uh, my video turned off and cut this part out of the workout I did, so I'm kind of feeling it extra right now. <laughs> this is my fifth set, fourth or fifth set. It's all good though. I'm always happy to get an extra. That's it, last two, you can do this. Can you go a little deeper in your pulses? All right, done with those. Exit off is complete. All right, we're gonna move over to the side of your room. We're going to our side to side squats with our hammer curl. So drop down, booty behind you, hammer curl up. Good. Really try to pretend you're moving across a balance beam or a tightrope here. So you're trying to really maintain your feet on that same imaginary line the entire exercise, okay? We're not zigzagging. <laughs> so this is really great just for your body awareness also. That's it, the little things we don't think about, but they really help with day-to-day -day life, especially as we get older. You will thank your younger self for doing these exercises now. That's it. We are almost there, keeping that chest up. Last set, down and back. I know you're feeling that burn, but I know you can push through. I know you can do it. Woo, I'm feeling it in my legs for sure. Good. Bringing it back to the center here. We've got our narrow squat, 
pulling the elbows back. Remember not to use the upper, upper shoulder muscles, okay? Let's do this. Down, chest up, and pull. You are unstoppably strong. I think I just made up a word, and it feels awesome. They say to embrace your weirdness, right? <laughs> that's something that took me a really long time to appreciate about myself. But once I did, it opened up new doors for me. Really opened up doing this. Being here with all of you. Hopefully making a positive, great impact on your day. That's what I'm all about with De-Stress Life. Three, two, one. Woo. Go ahead and drop those weights. All right, shuffling it out here. We're gonna take it back and just end where we started. So give me that just slightly knee up run. Good, you should really feel your abs working here on the run because they've been working for us this whole workout. And take it back to your fast knee. Fast feet, fast feet. Good, rock solid in your core. And take it back to your run. Yes, I hope you bring the energy with you from this workout into whatever you have to accomplish today or this week. Fast feet here. That's it, finishing off strong. And one more time with your run. Take it a little quicker if you can. These are great to do just in little pockets when you're cooking, right before you put on your clothes for work, good and fast feet. Just kind of revs up your energy a little bit. Not everything has to be about a 40 minute workout, right? We can just get in little pockets where we can. Good, take it back to your butt kickers. Oh yeah, this warm up. <laughs> Don't think I forgot. Pull those heels up. And fast feet. Yes. Good. And back to the butt kickers. I love bringing gratitude into my workouts. I think our bodies are probably something we take for granted the most. Good, bring it back to your fast feet. So it's just so, such an awesome practice to say thank you to your body for letting us do these amazing exercises. They might hurt. They might be annoying sometimes. Good butt kickers, but you know what? Not everybody out there in this world can move like this. You've got to appreciate what you have. That's it. And have empathy for those around you. Last time, fast feet. We're going to go back to our knee and oblique crunch standing up. Side to side for a second. Breathe it out. Remember, you can stay without the pop. Or if you're feeling up to it, you can jump it with me. Arms up, pull, side crunch. One more slow. If you can, jump, jump. That's it. Woo. Really twisting here. Nice rotation. And two, and one. Good, side to side. And let's try that other side here. Arms are up. Get your body into position. And let's jump if you want to. If not, you can speed it up. Halfway there. You guys are rocking out this full body workout. And three. And two. Good. Side to side. You did amazing. We're gonna end with our balance and torso rotations. Good. Leg and arms go opposite direction. Really feel your vertebra opening up here. Good. Last one. Take it right into the other side. This is another great dynamic stretch to do like on the daily if you can. We do not get enough rotation in with our activities of daily living. So when you can pull it in 
to just a quick like, hey, I'm about to jump in the shower or I'm about to go to bed. Let me be kind to my body. This is a good one to do. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this full body workout. Remember, going back to our intention, it's okay to be a beginner. It's okay not to be the best at something when you first start out. In fact, it's really fun. That means that you're learning, you're challenging yourself. Nobody ever got better at anything without challenging themselves. So be easy on yourself. If you're in the process of learning something new, taking on a new task at work, being a new parent, whatever it is, there's gonna be a learning curve and you're gonna get there and you're going to improve every single day, I promise. Thank you guys again so much. There's a lot more to come with me and De-Stress Life and I hope to see you back very soon. Have a good week, everybody.